So you just got a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery, but now you wonder what charger do you use to charge it? In today's video, I'm gonna show you the five chargers that I use most for charging my 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, this time on Ham Radio 2. Now before we get into the chargers, I wanna make a few notes briefly. First, we want to make sure we are using a charger specifically for lithium iron phosphate. That's important. Different battery chemistries have different charging conditions, so we want to make sure we're using the proper charger. Yes, there are other ways to charge lithium iron phosphate batteries, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Second, it's important to understand what's going on inside your battery to give you a better idea of how the charging works. Here's an example of a 10 amp hour lithium iron phosphate cell. With 12 volt lithium iron phosphate batteries, they're all going to be comprised of four cells in series. So basically the negative of battery one is the negative of the system and the positive of battery four is the positive for the system. And you have the positive of battery one going to the negative of battery two, the positive of battery two going to the negative of battery three, and the positive of battery three going to the negative of battery four. Think of it like a big mag light flashlight where you have to put four batteries in. The negatives and the positives are touching, increasing the voltage while maintaining the capacity size of the battery. And generally with most commercial lithium iron phosphate batteries you're gonna buy, they're all going to have a BMS or battery management system inside like this board right here that's gonna balance each individual cell to make sure they're all at the same voltage. And speaking of voltage, each cell in a lithium iron phosphate battery, the nominal voltage is 3.2. That's kind of where the battery's depleted. They're actually gonna charge to 3.65 volts per cell, giving us 14.6 volts when a 12 volt lithium iron phosphate battery is charged. They're gonna settle down to about 13.3, 13.4, somewhere in that area, but 14.6 volts is the target charging voltage for a lithium iron phosphate battery in a four cell 12 volt configuration. The first charger I want to talk about is the very first charger I ever bought. That's this high tech. Now this is a really cool charger. This will actually do multiple chemistries. You can change the number of cells. It will discharge. You can change the current. You can set the charging voltage per cell. Uh, really, really neat. So let's just cycle through here. See, we can see lithium ion, lithium polymer, DJI Mavic, PB is lead acid, nickel cadmium, nickel metal hydride, I don't know what uh, lithium HV is, and back to lithium iron phosphate. And then we can change the number of cells because we just learned that all 12 volt lithium iron phosphates are four cells, we set it to four cells. The mode, this is where you'd change it from either charge or discharge. Here the charging current, this will do from 0.1 to six amps of charging current. So this is really neat. So for example, if I'm using a small three amp hour battery, I wanna charge that at a 0.6 amp current rating. We can just set that to 0.6 amps. Notice also we have the target voltage where if we wanna really, really fully charge it, we can set this to 3.65 volts. Some people like to set it to 3.6 volts just to kinda of take it easy on the battery and that's about it. One thing to note with this charger though, because this has uh, a port for charging uh, other chemistries that don't have a built-in BMS. It's important to go to the system setup and we're gonna go down to where it says balance connection. We wanna turn that off. That's turning this off because these batteries have an internal BMS. So you wanna make sure that connection is turned off. Then we can simply plug in once our parameters are all set, we can plug in our battery. We're gonna long press the start button. It's gonna do some checks, make sure everything is good. Four series, and we hit charge, and it will start ramping up the charge current. And there you can see we're charging at 0.6 amps, which is exactly where we set it. Our voltage is gonna go up until it reaches 14.6, 
and we have the elapsed time that it took to charge. So really cool charger. I really like this one. I did a whole review of this uh, several years ago. You can check out if you want to learn more about it. The rest of the chargers we're going to be looking at are going to be just simple plug and play chargers. You literally plug the charger into the outlet and then plug the charger into the battery. This first one, actually the next couple uh, are going to be coming from a company called BioNO Power who also make these batteries. This is their two amp charger. Here we can see two amps for 14.6 volt LifePo 4 batteries. And I'll generally use this guy with any of my smaller batteries. Here we have a couple three amp hour batteries. This is a six amp hour battery. Here's my 10 amp hour battery. And they're very plug and play. Now this one comes with a little barrel connector on there because BioNO's smaller batteries have this little barrel connector on there. And you can see when we plug it in, the, red, the light turns red. When it's charged, the light will turn green and you know it's charged. And that goes across all of these different batteries here from BioNO. But I have standardized everything in my 12 volt system to use Anderson power poles. So I made a little pigtail and we can simply plug the power pole into the power pole of the battery and charge it just the same. And again, same thing with my 10 amp hour battery. So for smaller batteries, we're generally going to want to use a smaller charger. Now there's nothing wrong with using a small charger even on a really big battery. It's simply going to take longer to charge. So if we had a two amp charger with a hundred amp hour battery, it would take 50 hours to charge it. But also keep in mind, the slower we charge a battery, the better it is for the battery to a degree. So always keep that in mind. If you can charge slower, do that. Now I say charge slower within reason. I want to be clear. I would never wait 50 hours to charge a hundred amp hour battery with a two amp charger. But if you have the time, you certainly could think of it as like a trickle charger. The next one we're going to look at is also from BioNO. This is their six amp charger. Now it doesn't have the same specifications of the last one that we looked at, but this is a great charger. This is actually my workhorse. This exact charger is always plugged into this workbench and it's the charger I go to 90% of the time for charging most of my batteries. Generally, I'm going to use uh, a 30 amp hour battery or a 100 amp hour battery. Those are kind of my two main sizes. So here's a 20 amp hour battery, a 30 amp hour battery with the six amp charger. This is just kind of right in line with where we want to be in the sweet spot of charging. Again, I, I believe this came with a barrel connector on it. I cut it off and put Anderson's on it. But again, we plug the power pole into the battery. The light is red. We're charging when it's full. It will stop charging and turn green. It will also maintain it. If you do leave it plugged in, it will kind of keep cycling between red and green. Same with the other charger. Uh, just to keep the battery topped off because once these get to 14.6, the charger turns off, the batteries start to kind of calm down and settle to their actual charged voltage, 13.2, 13.4, somewhere in that range there. So this six amp charger, even if I'm using my 100 amp hour battery box and maybe I only use 20 amp hours out of it, I'll generally just put that battery box on this desk and plug this in and let it charge because there's simply no reason to put any higher current in it unless I need to charge it very fast so I can get on my way and out the door. Now moving up in size, this is the 20 amp charger from BioNO. And here you can see we still have 14.6 volts. We're going to start upping a little bit in features once we get to these size chargers. Note. We have a cooling fan in here. We also have a built-in fuse for protection. And here we have some LEDs. Let me turn this on here. We'll have both of those turn red when it's charging and green when it is full. And these do make a little bit more noise when you're charging because of that fan. This particular one for you ham radio operators is not RF quiet. So if you're operating your radio anywhere near this while you're charging, this will put a lot of hash into your transceiver, so keep that in mind. Don't want to use this while you're playing radio, but it is a fantastic charger. Perfect for your 100, 200 amp hour batteries. I generally will use this with my 100 amp hour batteries. Uh, it's, just, it's just the perfect size, 20 amps, 
0.2 C for a 100 amp hour battery, it's great. Now I'll generally use this charger in a couple different ways, again, because we have Andersons on everything. For example, here's a 100 amp hour battery box that I built, and I have Anderson power poles on here, so I can plug any of these red and black Anderson power poles into the charger. Go ahead and turn the switch on, and we're charging. Now you can hear the fan is going, the LEDs are on. Once it's charged, the LED turns green, and we are in business. Also with batteries that I haven't put in battery boxes like this one, I'll oftentimes have a pigtail going from the red and black of the battery to an Anderson. So again, I can plug it in, turn it on, and we're charging. I don't always have these pigtails on every one of my batteries, so I have these alligator clips, again, with Andersons on the other side, so I can plug those in, connect the positive and negative terminals, and again, turn the charger on and I'm charging. So I've got a lot of different options with this charger. Lastly, when I'm charging some big batteries like this 300 amp hour battery, or even if you have several smaller batteries connected in parallel, like say 300 amp hour batteries, I like to use this charger. This is from Time USB. This is a 40 amp charger. Now this comes with Andersons, but these are the 50 amp Anderson connections. So you need to have a separate pigtail for that. It does, it does come with this wire. I did have to drill the holes in the lugs a little bit wider to accommodate this, but same way, Anderson power poles, they're just gonna connect, turn it on, and after a second, we start charging. Now this battery's pretty topped off, but the cool thing about this, this LED screen is gonna cycle through a few different things. It's gonna show you the voltage, it's gonna show you how many amp hours it puts into it, and right now it's showing you the current, so we're putting 16.7 and counting down amps into the battery right now. So, really cool charger. Again, it is kind of noisy with that fan going there, and this also is not RF quiet, so you ham radio operators, if you're charging and wanna use your radio at the same time, this is gonna create a lot of noise on your radio, but a really good charger nonetheless. So I hope that helps explain charging lithium iron phosphate batteries, what kind of chargers you should use and how you should charge your batteries. Guys, thanks so much. My name is Mike K at MRD and I appreciate you watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time.